News. We begin tonight with breaking news from Heartland, a case of better safe than sorry. A school there put on lockdown and then students are released early. Yeah, it all happened at Heartland North Elementary School. Our uh, Jeremy Ross is live in Heartland now on the phone with more on what took place. What was the situation this afternoon, Jeremy? Well, uh, for the few people that we've been able to speak with, it looks like things have significantly calmed down uh, from earlier this afternoon, and, and they say it really everything happening uh, approximately around uh, around three o'clock. We're continuing to gather a lot of the facts in this area, but what I can tell you is that when we pulled in uh, in the elementary school, which is not too far away from the firehouse. Uh, where emergency responders have been briefing media. Uh, we saw quite a few squad cars, quite a few officers kind of patrolling the perimeter of the nearby elementary school, and there are apparently other schools in the area as well. A lot of concentration from people here uh, telling us in the wooded area surrounding uh, our, um, I guess, the, the wooded area surrounding the perimeter of the elementary school here as well. What I can tell you, in only the last few minutes, a lot of those squad cars almost every single police officer has basically pulled away. So any intensity, any major concern has been ratcheted down tremendously in this area. We are continuing to gather the facts here, but that's what I can tell you from our latest observations. And again, schools in the area uh, on early dismissal today, and so there obviously was not a major concern because those schools apparently weren't on lockdown. If they were, that lockdown was lifted and there was an emergency dismissal. Can you speak to that, Jeremy? Uh, unfortunately, uh, one of the teachers I tried to speak with uh, told us she would prefer not to talk with us about that, so I cannot give you any details at this point in time. Jeremy Ross on the phone. Thanks. Fears confirmed. Racine police have identified four more victims of a